The title for my world literature book is Cat Fear Boy, written by Mark Mathaban. The book is a true story of the author growing up as a black person in South Africa. The book is divided into three parts, the road to Alexandria, passport to knowledge, and lastly the passport to freedom. The first part, which is the road to Alexandria, was mostly about the author's childhood. The author was not born in a wealthy family and also like other black people, him and his family was only allowed to live in Alexandria, which was known as the ghetto of South Africa. The author talks about an early morning raid on the shiny town in which he lives. His parents would abandon the house, leaving the author to watch over his younger siblings. What follows is a shocking example of the violence of the police in South Africa. The police raided the town looking for blacks who did not have their passbook in order. The passbook is similar to a passport that we use, and all blacks were required to have one starting from a certain age. With this passbook, they were required to keep these books in order or updated. To keep them in order, they had to go to offices with every single official paper. This was impossible for the blacks to do because it would involve missing days of work, and missing a day of work can also result to be laid off. Eventually, the police come to the author's shack and arrest his father for being unemployed. And while his father was sent away for years, the author spent his day nearly starving to death and hanging out with gangs, which made him famous for being the troublemaker. The other two part of the book is about himself and school. The author starts school because of the force of his mother and grandmother. And although at first he hated to go to school, he later realized that he's a good student and consistently ranks at the top of his class. Also, school influences the author in a lot of great ways. First of all, he stops from hanging out with the gangs and also becomes an elite student instead of a troublemaker. He also gets the opportunity to try sports and become passionate in tennis, which later gets him a scholarship to college. So basically, by going to school, the author f author's future had changed. When he could have been a gangster digging garbage dump for food, he became an elite student that got into college where he could learn and have a decent life. I really enjoyed this book because personally I have a lot of interest in South Africa. However, I had a hard time understanding some parts. For example, when the author is talking about his tribe, I thought that if there was a movie based on the novel, it would have been easier to understand. Unfortunately, there isn't one yet, so maybe if I have an opportunity to make one, I will, for the readers who might have the same problem. Briefly, I think that I would divide the movie into three parts, like the book, so it will be the series. The first one will be The Road to Alexandria, the second one will be The Passport to Knowledge, and the last will be Passport to Freedom. The reason is because I think that every word, every scene are so important that if I take them out, I have a feeling that the picture of the story will break. Also, I think that if I added a little bit of this life of the author right now, it may make the movie more interesting. I truly recommend this book to people and especially to readers who would like to know about South Africa and the life of living as a minority. The reason is, it is easier to understand the situation since it's an actual autobiography of the author. So most of the information in this novel is true. Also, unlike other books, the author puts scenes where it explains that not all white or all the rich people in South Africa are bad. He adds that even though there are a lot of people who had hurt him physically and mentally, there were also a lot of people who helped him too. So the book is not only criticizing the people, so it's more realistic. However, I wouldn't recommend this book to young children because there are some violence and some scenes that aren't really appropriate. If I compare this book to a book I read recently, then I will compare it to the Cry of the Beloved Country by Alan Payton. This is also a book that is based on the life in South Africa, and since the background of both novels are the same, there are a lot of similarities. For instance, both novels talk about racism and how unfair the police and other treated black people. However, in Cat Fear Boy, it's written more of a rough way. With rough language and acts, Cry the Beloved Country is more peaceful, and even though both of the novels are talking about the same incident, the tone of the book is very different from each other. So maybe if you feel uncomfortable about Kaffir Boy's roughness, or if you're too young to read this book, I'll highly recommend Cry the Beloved Country.